everyone, this is Major Arlene reporting, and welcome back to The Sims 4. Well, you've guessed it, I've finished another anime. Well, technically only one season, I still needed to go to the second season, but this is the characters of Free Iwatobi Swim Club. Now, I was I really li literally just watched this out of curiosity, pure curiosity, because guess what? I watch a lot of anime vines, okay? Don't judge me. Um, yeah, so... I'm not gonna go into these characters in depth, because frankly, these characters don't have a ton of depth. I mean, the pool does, but anyway. Actually, there's a really funny series based on this. It's kind of satirical. It's um, called 50% uh, Off. Um, it is hilarious. It's by Octopimp, and if you've, even if you've never watched the anime or anything like that, it's totally hilarious. It doesn't really spoil anything. Well, it probably spoils things a lot, but anyway. It was really funny. It was a really funny series, and I really enjoyed that. So, if you like anything that even makes fun of an anime, go ahead and watch that. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so Haru. I had to kind of do some guesswork on jackets. I'm actually using a lot of stuck, stock stuff, apparently, which is weird because I never do that. Um, I'm also fairly lacking on the male side as far as custom stuff goes, so I had to work with what I had, and I hadn't been looking at mods, um, especially for swimwear. So the swimwear is going to be like way, way off, but you're going to have to just, you know, deal with it here. Um, a couple things I do want to point out. Um, the hair is by Kijuko Cat Food. If you look up their stuff, it is amazing. Um, they have a lot of anime hairs. I probably need to download a couple more from them. I just need to download some hairs because the problem is with these characters is that three of them are using the same hair because they kind of have similar hairstyles, all of them. They're just, they're all the same cuts, they just part them different ways. Um, don't ask me why I say that. I mean, like, I used to work in a hair salon, so, anyway. Um, but yeah, the care is by Kijiko Cat Food. And then the eyeballs, um, or the, the, um, uh, eyes are N53 by Praline Sims. It's part of the anime set. Um, so yeah, just download that whole anime set, especially if you're into, uh, into making stuff like that. It's this blue, dar dark blue down here that I, uh, chose for him. And, uh, no, not the party. The swimwear. Sorry, his eyeliner is a little bit jacked. Um, I did not mean to use that eyeliner. I want that eyeliner. Yeah. I have to get out of the habit of using eyeliner for all my anime characters. I do use a little bit on the top just to, to, to accentuate their eyes because that's how they tend to be drawn. So, but you have all your muscular swim dudes and they look really good. So, anyway... Yeah, that's that's Haru right there. Um, Haru confuses me because he like literally has this insane sexual preference for water. It's really weird. It's probably the weirdest thing I've ever probably seen written. Well, I mean, probably not the weirdest, but one of the weirder things I've ever seen written about a character. <laughs> but it's the running joke of the show, so we'll just go with it. Reen! Oh my god, I wish I could make him look not so weird, but he looks weird. Um, <laughs> You'll have to also excuse my voice, by the way. I have a cold, and I'm like doped up on cold medicine, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, yeah, he's an asshole. And he has shark teeth, which... If y'all didn't know this, Sims 4 recently came out with an update that not only included toddlers, but custom teeth as well. And I'm really sad that there's not a custom tooth for him, because do you know how awesome it would be to have fucking shark teeth on this dude? But yeah. It's got like braces, and like crowns, and like all kinds of jagged ass teeth. Would that work? Oh god. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for him to, like, do this, that little smile animation thing that he, those males tend to, tend to do. Uh, yeah, he's not gonna do it. That's okay. I'm gonna just give him his normal teeth back. But, yeah. Again, uh, this is the hair by Kijiko Cat Food. The same hair that I used on Haru, just a different color. Um... Reen's got this weird reddish color. The problem is with the Kijikos is that um, their colors are not as bright. 
as the ones in the anime. So I had to kind of improvise with those a little bit. So, and then Reen for him, his swimwear. Like I said, I don't have like the regulation swimwear stuff. So I had to kind of like go by their colors and see what I could do about it. All right, Makoto. Makoto's probably my favorite. He's so chill and so cute and just such a little ray of sunshine. I love him. I love him to death. This is probably not a super accurate representation of him, but that is okay. Um, another hair by Kijiko Cat Food. Uh, and uh, the N53 eyes again in green this time. Yeah, Makoto. I just, I love Makoto because he's just like so, so cheerful and he loves cats and he's got this never ending fascination with Haru, which is a little bit creepy, but. Anyway, there he is, my little ray of sunshine. Love him so much. All right, little Nagisa. Nagisa, yeah. I actually ended up making him like a teen. All my, um, <laughs> because I like to just, um, make my, my characters independent, um, Sometimes I ignore their age and just make them young adults. But since Nagisa is a little bit younger than the rest of them, I've made him a, a teenager. The only thing I do not like about um, the Sims body structure, especially when they're, they've got muscles that their chest sticks out like a lot. So if you, if you bring this in, that comes out and it looks kind of awkward. Nagisa also has kind of like this sort of pink and red scheme going on but he wears a lot of blue too they are they all wear brown pants like they have a school uniform but it's not um but you don't you know it's hard to to recreate especially in the sims 4 when you have uh when you have that going on all right and 53 eyes once again that same one that i used for haru and reen i used for nagisa as well in this little blonde color right here this sort of toffee blonde sort of color. He actually turned out fairly well. I, I'm proud of my little Nagisa. He's, he looks good. And then this one I made in like three seconds, so just bear with me here. Here's Ray. <laughs> oh, Ray. The problem is with Ray is like, he simultaneously knows he sucks at things, but also thinks he's better than everybody else. Like, and he's constantly weirded out by by the guys. Like, he's constantly weirded out about his situation, and I've never understood that, because, like, you can always say no. Like, I know they convinced you, but, like, literally he gets his pride just, like, totally in the way of everything, and just ends up, like, totally failing at that joint practice. It was probably the funniest fucking thing, and just... His fascination with butterflies. That's a, that's something I actually kind of wanted to research a little bit. Not about Ray in general, but the, the butterfly and Japanese culture and what it kind of stands for. Things like that. So, it was actually kind of a neat little, neat little thing that they did with that. And, of course, Ray's, like, super muscular, super cute, and look at that Speedo! I know he hates the Speedo and can't swim in it, but I told y'all, I well, I didn't tell y'all anything, but I told myself, I'm like, I don't really have a good swimsuit to put on him other than this fucking yellow Speedo that he starts out in the show in, and it looks fucking good on him, okay? Just, just, yeah, okay, alright. So that's the the characters of Free. Um, I just wanted to do something very quickly um, to kind of just show you guys what I've been working on as a recent. I always kind of use this to keep track of what series I've been watching. So, you know, I'll probably be watching season two and maybe adding some more characters to this. But other than that, these are like the mains. And um, I'm not going to do like Go or anything like that. Co. <laughs> <laughs> I know they make a big deal of her pronunciation of her name. Her name looks like Go, but it's actually pronounced Ko. And I just said Go. She, if she was actually here right now, she would kill me. So, hooray. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. That has been The Sims for free. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is May Darlene. Over and out.